below um, on behalf of myself and the other beautiful ambassadors and the staff at the USA Fibroid Center. We welcome you tonight. We are so grateful that you decided to join us and we have a special guest. This is Dr. Jacob White and he is the medical director of the Fibroid Services at USA Fibroid Centers and he is a board certified um, interventional radiologist. So how are you able to determine from a telehealth appointment if a person does in fact have fibroids? So we would talk just about symptoms and then if we thought that the patient might have fibroids, we would set them up with an ultrasound. And there are radiology centers on every block. Ultrasounds I are cheap and easy and there's no radiation or no pain involved. And we can set up an ultrasound from anywhere. If you're near our offices, we can do it in the office. If you're not near an office, we can set it up somewhere else. Dr. White, tell me um, some of the questions they should be asking you guys when they call to get their appointment. Is there anything in particular they should be saying? Because I know people are like, I don't even know what to say. I'm just calling. I think I got a fibroid. What should they, what kind of information should they be prepared to share or to ask? All right, so leading up to it, there are no instructions whatsoever. You can eat and drink before, you can do whatever you want, have your coffee, chill out. There's no preparation that needs to be done. Once you come in, then um, we will do everything for you. We will set you up with the ultrasound, we'll do it in our office. We will sit down and talk to you and we'll walk you through everything. So um, we'll say, here's your ultrasound. Do you have fibroids? How many do you have? How big are they? And then we'll just walk you through the questionnaire. You know, what kind of symptoms do you have? Do you have bleeding symptoms? Do you have bulk symptoms? Do you have pain? Do you have urinary frequency? You don't have to think anything. We will just walk you through everything. And then once we look at the ultrasound, determining if and where you have fibroids, and we look at what symptoms, then we can match it together and say, okay, do we need to treat your fibroids? Can we just watch them? Are you a good candidate for medicines? Are you a good candidate for UFE? And then we can go from there. And we have a full service team. In our office, we do everything. We do the ultrasound, we'll do your blood work, we'll do you know whatever we need in the ultrasound. In the uh, office, we have a whole insurance team that will talk to your insurance and get the procedure approved. We have a call center, you can reach us you know, all day, all night, you can call, you know, ask any questions, whatever you need. And we'll, we'll really walk you through the whole thing, soup to nuts, you don't need to think of anything. I think, you know, just kind of knowing your options is going to be helpful. Because I didn't know I had any options, Dr. White. I really didn't. I thought the only way to remove the fibroid was through a hysterectomy. And I feel so bad about that because um, I'm just, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a person who does research. Like, I, you know, I have two or three degrees. Like, what the heck? <laughs> you know? and so it's not even about an educational thing. It's really about, you know, accessibility. I didn't have any access. I had no idea. I didn't even know to ask. You see what I mean? Like, I didn't even right. say, can I get a second opinion? You know, or is there another procedure that we can do? Like, I just did not know this. And none of my friends talked about it. None yeah. of my friends. Close. I mean, I have the same friends that I've had for 30 years. I mean, is this a conversation that we should be having with our friends? Yeah, I think we do have to start talking about it more. I mean, this is something that's so, so common. It causes so many symptoms. Of course, we should be getting the information out there and talking about it more and uh, hearing about all the treatment options because what's right for one person might not be right for another or, uh, you know, just figuring out what's right for you. And the beauty about uterine fibroid embolization is once you do it, women are really, really happy with it. Over nine out of 10 women are happy and would have chosen it again. Not only that, if for whatever reason you're not happy, you can always go on to have the myomectomy or hysterectomy later. It doesn't preclude that. And so we need to be doing more embolizations because there are hundreds of thousands of hysterectomies being done in this country every year. And for a benign condition, it's just really not necessary. Um, what's the recovery time? And generally, it's about five days. About five days of some pelvic cramping, maybe a little bit of nausea. And we'll prescribe some medicine to get the patients through it. Um, it's not the end of the world, but they're uncomfortable for a few days. I uh, just relax at home, take the medicine. And after about five days or so, the cramps go away. And that's when they start to get back to their life. Within two weeks, they are fully 100% back to all activities. Do you still go through some hormonal changes with the UFE? And can you still have children after UFE? Usually, there are no hormonal changes after. Um, it's mostly just a week 
the, you know, two weeks it's gone of the cramps and everything like that. Um, and yes, you can have children after UFD. That's no problem. You do want to wait six to 12 months, let everything heal, let the fibroids shrink down, let your uterus get back to normal. Because as the fibroids are shrinking, then those first couple of periods can be a little unusual early or late or heavier, lighter, kind of your body and your uterus getting used to its new life. But then after that, it is perfectly healthy and perfectly um, acceptable to go on and have children. That's no problem at all after the UFE. Now, how soon after the UFE can you have sex? <laughs> so what we do is we do the UFE and then we have a post-op visit around two to three weeks later afterwards. And then it's at that visit, if the patient is feeling good, and they almost always are, so at about two weeks later, then we say, okay, physical and sexual activity is allowed. Sometimes they come back two weeks, they say, you know what, I still have a little cramps. Then we say, okay, you know, wait another week or two. But uh, in general, it's about two or three weeks, then you're back to all physical and sexual activities. Um, tell us, I know one of your big locations is New York. Where else are you located? If you could just kind of rattle off a few states. Sure. You go to USA Fiber Centers, you'll see everything you mentioned before. Texas and Virginia, New York, New Jersey. Uh, we're in Atlanta. We're in Florida. Um, I may be missing one or two others. Philadelphia. Uh, Illinois, Philadelphia. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, Dr. Shiloh in Philadelphia, Illinois, You're Chicago to, area. You're coming to D.C. soon. We're coming to D.C. soon. We already have someone in uh, Virginia. We're already in Virginia. Uh, so, yeah, we're always expanding. We're all over. And like I said, we're happy to do a telemedicine visit um, to kind of see if it's right for you. And we have people that travel. If they don't have in their uh, in their city or state, they can wow. come and we can do a telemedicine initial evaluation. If they want the UFE, they can come and spend a couple of days, have the procedure, and then go back home. We've done that before, too. How come this procedure is so successful? Like, what, what makes it so great? Well, the best things in life <coughs> are just really simple solutions. This is so, so straightforward. It's just simply just killing the fibroids. You have fibroids, they're hurting you. So we cut off the blood supply and we kill the fibroids. It's that simple. And the procedure is very simple, very elegant. It's done in 20, 30, 40 minutes in our office. No cutting, no scars. The procedure is easier than surgery. The recovery is easier than surgery. It's really, really just a simple, elegant solution. It's a great way to control the fibroid symptoms. But I want to actually make a challenge to them tonight, Dr. White, and I'm going to ask you to do a challenge, and then we're going to close out. I challenge each of you to tell five people tonight. Text, screenshot this, and to send this to five people and ask them, do you think you have a fibroid? Are you aware? Do you know what fibroids are? I love your challenge. That's, you know, everything that we're trying to do. And look, we already said 70, 80% of women have fibroids. So if you text five people, chances are three or four of them by the numbers will have fibroids, as crazy as that sounds. So that's, you know, that's an awesome, awesome challenge. And then the next step is reaching out to us and getting help. And it's really easy. Mm -hmm. Go to the website, call the number and, um, you know, reach out to us and we can help you along your fibroid journey and, you know, get you better and uh, get you feeling better, treat your fibroids. And, mm -hmm. you know, you'll see it's uh not uh not so hard and uh we'll 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 get you through it.